Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Lompadari Corsera or Lompaduri? Lompadari? <laughs> Duty. In any case, I'm gonna be taking you on a 360 tour around the vehicle, giving you some facts about it and ultimately the goal of this video is to tell you if this right here is worth it or not. And uh, well, spoiler alert, uh, well I believe it's gonna be a good one. And with that out of the way, let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First and foremost, this vehicle is mainly based on the real-world Maserati MC20. It's a very handsome car in GTO line released in 2022. In case uh, you want to know how much it costs, $1.8 million from the Legendary Motorsports website. In terms of um, vehicle interactivity, this is what you can do with the vehicle. You can open, whoop, wrong one. You can open its front door apparently. Nope. You can open both of its doors, the hood and the trunk, which in this vehicle are reversed. Because, uh, well, it's a rear engine type of deal. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool vehicle. And something that I didn't mention is that this one is part of the sports category in GT Online. And, for my money, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome looking vehicle. Even though the color is kind of poopy. But uh, in any case, let's uh, make everything back in order, of course, except for the... Well, I guess we're doing that, and uh, jump in and uh, look at how the interior looks. And, uh, well, no surprises, the interior is incredibly bad and horrible, and, uh, well, you can basically... Well, I guess uh, if you're a little shorter, you can see everything. But uh, the way the vehicle sounds... Which you bueno! And with that out of the way, let's see what type of drivetrain we are dealing with here with the Lompadari. And uh, it should come to no surprise, since this is a... There we go. Since this is a sports car, it's a rear wheel drive type of deal. And with that out of the way, once again, let's go to Los Santos Customs and customize this bad boy. And as always, on our way there, I will be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Corsita. And uh, I gotta say, this has not been on the podium. I think I reviewed it two, two and a half years ago when it first came out. I remember nothing about it. So this is gonna be kind of a new experience for me. And so far, what I can see is this is a very, very capable vehicle. Acceleration, very good. Traction, very good. Top speed, very good. And all around, it's a pretty good um, sports car. Honestly, not much I can complain about. Even the brakes are awesome, and usually the brakes sucks on these, so, uh, yeah. It even has headlights. If this can fit to people, it's a winner, and uh, I believe it can. Uh, the one thing that's the big question, as always, is how it's gonna customize in Los Santos Customs, because, as we all know, Rockstar just loves to give us awesome customization. Not. And here we are, and as said before, this vehicle is part of the sports category in GT Online. And even though I did some, but just a little bit of damage, uh, we can sell it for actually some money, which is more than I can say about uh, than other vehicles. Basically, 95% of the podium vehicles. In any case, let's repair it and upgrade all the performance options up front. This way, you guys are not gonna yell at me in the comments that I forgot something. Unless, actually, I forget something in the beginning. Hmm, kind of a bad plan. In any case, upgrading the transmission and the turbo and i think we are good to go the engine we already did yep and we are starting off with the front bumper options in terms of customization and i gotta say this one has a plethora 12 different ones and uh, wow the, uh, this is not a bumper rockstar this is a, a splitter uh, it's a big difference the bumper is the the thing over there just on top of the splitter but uh, yeah who's counting wow that's disappointing Okay, we are off to a good start. The rear diffuser, at least this one, is named correctly. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not liking anything from here either. So, let's go to the exhaust options. And these are all the options we can choose from. And I gotta say, probably liking these one the best. Yep, let's go with these ones. And the front grill, which is kind of the... I don't know. Maybe this one was going to be called a bumper at some point. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this looks kind of mean. So, let's see. We can also put some liveries on the vehicle. Oh, that's a livery. I thought it's just a secondary color. Interesting. So, let's see what else we can put on it. And, uh, well, no surprises. They are all horrible. And uh, that's coming from a person that really, really, really dislikes liveries. So, there you have it. 
of course for this video we're gonna be going with the none option for reasons that uh, well if you've seen my videos for the past four years you know why moving on to mud guards kind of feels weird putting mud guards on a car like this but uh hey who cares primary secondary or black secondary license plate we can go with uh let's go with red with the hopes that we can match it with the logo of the bullshit party and by the way subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed because uh i don't know it seems like youtube people say that uh roof we can uh well we actually have a lot of roof options here and i gotta say i'm really enjoying some of them so i think we're gonna be going with a carbon one probably this one let's see the side skirts of course we can also customize although this is kind of lazy ish because they kind of look the same most of them this one looks kind of good or maybe this uh, yeah we're not gonna go with that uh the splitter okay so we can i think they mis mistook what a splitter is it's actually the thing that splits the whatever not putting anything of those and uh the rear wing it's actually the only visual component that ha usually has impact on the traction but since the traction is already maxed out i guess this one doesn't for some reason but uh yeah if you want to overcompensate for something small that you have own or are is part of you or whatever uh you can put up like the biggest wing that you have so basically what i'm saying is if you have something small you can put a big wing Moving on, sun strips. Uh, let's see now. We can uh, choose from a plethora of different ones. I really lo don't like any of them, so we're gonna be keeping them as they are. But uh, yeah, slamming it to the ground seems to be doing the job. Transmission, trunk. Interesting. So we can customize the trunk as well, which is usually called the hood option, by the way. Yeah, let's go with this one. Why not? More flaps, more better wheels i actually kind of enjoy those so we're going to be keeping them the windows i am not going to be doing that because as you can see you can barely see the engine if i tint the windows even a little bit so yeah that's a big no-no and that's a really the mistake that rockstar has made in the past uh, making the basically the windows all tint at the same time yeah not going to be doing that and one last thing before going into seeing how uh we're going to respray the vehicle is this is how much you can sell it for now, is that part of the video where you guys decide on what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And for this week, we had a, another poll. And, uh, well, blue one, basically, to, to get to the point. And uh, thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll, as always. And hopefully, you are going to like the outcome. And if that's the case, smash the like button and hit the subscribe or the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no in any case uh, really really thank you to everybody that voted on the poll and hopefully you do like the outcome of it now which one to go with i guess it's this one secondary color let's go with chameleon wait we can select chameleon for the, for the mud guard yeah this, uh, uh, this feels wrong for some reason tell you what let's go with this one why not uh the trim color this one basically doesn't matter so let's go with I don't know this one and the crew emblem of course we're gonna slap on the side and we are out of here now here we are and as the day is drawing to a close it's uh wow the mudguards look red from st <laughs> yeah they look so stupid uh one thing that i'm really disappointed by is that uh what's uh, happening there bull sheep uh what are you doing there buddy interesting uh, in any case, uh, what is interesting about the vehicle is that, wow, the power is just insane after fully upgrading its performance. I mean, it was no slouch before, but as you can see, now it's just incredible. I don't know if it actually it translates through the video, uh, but yeah, the power is definitely there. And if this was not the top of its class before, it definitely is now. It's probably not the fastest vehicle in the sports category, but it's definitely near the top. From what I can tell, and from all the vehicles that I've driven, which is all of them in GT Online, I can definitely say that this one feels incredible. In terms of turning radius, uh, the way it drives, the way it handles, the way it behaves on the road, basically, 
um this one is pretty much in a league of its own especially for its class it doesn't feel like a sports car it feels almost like a hyper car uh feels really really good the only drawback i can say for this vehicle is that the customization kind of sucks and it really rubs me the wrong way when rockstar calls the front splitter a front uh, bumper i don't know it's uh, just a personal pet peeve of mine but i really 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 hate it and uh, I think with that, uh, it's kind of time to end the video. Should you get this vehicle for $1.8 million? Honestly, I think so. It's an awesome vehicle to drive around with, and it really, really, really looks cool. Just look at it. It's a Maserati. Like, you can't really go with it unless you buy one in real life, of course. Uh, but should you get this from the Lucky Wheel when this week it's free? Yeah, I think this is a complete no-brainer. You should definitely get this car. It's an awesome one, and you're probably not going to regret it. Unless you really hate Italian cars for some reason. In any case, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of this vehicle? Do you like it as much as I do? And uh, please subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Interesting. It has a removable rear window. Yeah, I... Kinda saw that one coming.